What is up everybody? My name is Eric Valdez and I am back with another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing with you guys what I think is going to be the best loafer for me and my wardrobe this fall. In addition, I haven't seen many reviews or sizing details on this particular loafer. Um, so I'm excited to do that as well as show you guys outfits that I'm planning to wear this fall. With that being said, let's hop straight into the Suiko Pepper Evab Loafer in the black colorway. So here in hand I have the Suiko Pepper Evab Loafer box. I'm just showing you the nice simple design that they send them in. They don't do too much and it makes it very easy to store wherever you like to store your shoes. I personally like to store mine in my closet and the box being nice and slim allows me to do so. One of my favorite details about the Sui Coke Pepper Evab Loafer is going to be the small little details such as the Sui Coke branding and the waterproof event tag. As you can see, the rubberized sole is quite thick but very comfortable. The top part of the loafer is made with water repellent technology, making for a great outdoor loafer. The inner shoe that is insulated makes your feet feel warm so keep that in mind when making this purchase. I intend to use these in colder weather because of that exact reason. The sole of the Sui Coke loafer is nothing crazy and nothing special, just a very stacked design for durability. Now finally, my favorite design about this loafer is going to be the bungee style jawstring at collar. I do believe this is where the loafer sets itself apart from other common competitors. The sleek sharp look is what makes me love this loafer along with the antibacterial EVAD rubber footbed. Although this may feel a bit weird with different bumps under your foot at first, it gets very comfortable and you won't even notice it. Sizing. The Sui Coke Black Pepper EVAB does not come in half sizing unfortunately. This could become an issue if you lie within that half size range. In my opinion, the Sui Coke loafer runs big I wear a 10.5 and, and decided to go with a 10 and this fits perfect, leaving me to think that the 11 would fit loose and probably with heel slippage. I would suggest going half size down, but this will vary for everyone. So now that we have gone over the Sui Coke Pepper EVAB loafer, the materials and qualities, along with the sizing, let's hop into how I would style the Sui Coke Pepper EVAB loafer during the fall. In the first outfit here, as you can see, I do have a pair of Carhartt workwear pants along with my favorite vintage Eddie Bauer sweater. I do think that this outfit is very cozy and looks very good for the fall. So hopping into the next outfit, I do have on a pair of Guest denim jeans along with a vintage Harley Davidson t-shirt. One of my favorite things about this outfit in particular is going to be how the jeans sit on the Sui Coke loafers. So for my third outfit here, I have on a pair of Columbia workwear pants matched with a blue Banana Republic flannel and just a basic black t-shirt. This is by far my favorite outfit because I feel as it fits the whole aura behind the Sui Coke loafer. Outdoorsy, subtle, yet very sleek. So for my last and final outfit, I need you guys to take it easy and not make fun of me. This is just a throw on casual outfit as if I were going to run to the store. Just a nice little vintage zip up up top, Cherokee shorts at the bottom, and some striped socks along with the Sui Coke loafers. Let me know what was your favorite outfit down in the comment section. So now that I've just wrapped up showing you guys how I plan to style these loafers during the fall, I think this is a good stopping point as we reviewed the sizing the quality and overall material of this loafer. I hope you guys found all the information that you've been looking for or even just ran into something new like this loafer and maybe you want to add it to your cart. With that being said, I'm going to add a link down to the Essence page um, where you can find these loafers on sale right now. Also, we just hit 400 subscribers, so thank you to everyone that's been showing love, um, commenting, liking, and just reaching out um, and asking where I've been because I have been gone. With that being said, feel free to like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. And I hope to see you guys soon.